Today we're going to talk about determining the gender of a coyote skeleton. Now I found two skeletons of coyotes over the last year and they were completely skeleton. There was no way that you'd be able to determine the gender of these animals by any flesh or any type of characteristic other than examining the bones. And how you can tell the difference between a male and a female is you have to look at the pelvis. You can't look at a pile of bones like this and say, yes, this was a male animal. You have to actually examine the bones themselves. Um, even looking at the skull, there are some differences between the sexes, and it's usually the male is slightly larger in the canines. But this is not always true because there are some very masculine females and very feminine males. And you can have a female coyote that you look at her and you think she's a male because she's so large and so muscular. So how do we tell a male from a female when they're skeleton is, I said, by looking at their pelvis. Now, how I know that this unknown individual is a male, even though I did not find a baculum or anything at the site, is because his hips, his pelvis region here is 100% fused. It's completely fused. There is no way that this is ever going to break apart. That would have to be sawed apart if you wanted to separate them. Female, she's broken because she's made to be broken where she's the childbearing gender, her pelvis has to be able to flex apart and able to allow the pups to pass through. So her pelvis here is like little dovetails in a way. It locks together. This is held in place by cartilage and other connective tissues. If I can get this to line up right, you'll be able to see that it does go pretty close. You can see how that fits together like a perfect little puzzle piece. I can't get it completely perfect because it's not meant to be perfect, but you can see there that there are areas that interlock that do go together quite flush. Now, how I can say that this was just not a fluke that these two individuals, she just happened to be more open, is because this guy right here was a coyote. He's the one I found on the beach, Mujubak. And he was flesh on, so we could tell by his outside characteristics that he was male. And he's fused. He's completely, he's completely fused there, just like this guy. The back was a slightly larger animal, as you can tell from the pelvis here, he is larger. And you can look at their spacings here, and you can see that they are very similar. So as you can see, there is a definite difference in the pelvic regions between male and female coyotes and this will help you determine the gender of your skeletons. Um, a lot of people probably think it doesn't really matter what the gender of a skeleton is, but for those of us who are collectors and artists who like to know more about the specific animal that we are working with, it is something that is very important to know is if it's a male or female that you're working with. Some of us who are more intuitive, we can usually pick up on the gender of an animal just by the vibration that the bone is giving off, but some of us aren't as gifted as others, so this is a nice way to look at the physical characteristics and go by science.